Big Red Bitch King of the City, man. We on Taco Talk TV. Taco Talks 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 TV. Young Jose. Rest in peace to swiping YC. Taco Talks TV. Hey man, thanks for pressing play, man. You tuned in with the voice of the youth, motherfucking Taco Talks TV, King of the City. Big riff, you know the fuck you want, no? We here, back again, yet again, the second time, gone up. Two times. Yeah, you hear me? Better than the last time. How you, how you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Life is great. Yeah. Life's great, B. What's, what's changed since the last time? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and how that make you feel like? Nah, fuck that nah fuck. What's on the serious tip? My life really has changed in two years. Yeah. Tremendously. That's what I'm saying. Did you expect that from the, the first interview we did? We did the yeah, first one. Yeah, I said one, that. Right? Didn't I say that? I said um it's gonna be different in like two years. Yeah. I probably said a little bit longer than two years, but it happened like faster than I thought. How you adjusting to it? It's easy to adjust or? No. Because you still got to watch out for certain shit now. It's just more shit to worry about to yeah. a certain extent. It's a good problem, but it's all right. It's you rather had a problem that you got today compared to the joints you had two years ago? Hell yeah. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Right. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I dig that. Um, so let, let's go back to the beginning. What was it like when you thought your life was hard? Or did you ever think your life was hard? I might feel hard. And, and what do you think makes that? Just me putting a rock of pressure on myself saying I got to do what I should. Yeah. Like that would make it hard if I ain't. But then if I ain't do that, I'd be a lazy. Yeah. Not getting no money, just sitting on my head. Yeah. So I don't think my life is not gonna be hard till I'm probably like 30, 35. What's gonna make it hard then? It ain't gonna be hard then. Oh, you say it won't be hard. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be chilling. Dig that. I'm I dig relax. that. Relax. I ain't gonna have no problems for real. Yeah. I'm gonna be worried about rapping shit. I don't worry about nothing. Cause it's always gonna be happy. Yeah. And I was gonna, I, I wanna go back to the beginning, like, before high school, you know what I'm saying? What was it like for you changing from who you was in middle school to who you are now? That, and that was tough. You gotta, uh, you gotta learn yourself, you gotta learn people. You yeah. gotta, like, know how to move. Cause you can't move how you was moving, like, from like 20, 20 whatever to like 20, 13, yeah. nigga could get on the bus, nigga could walk to every neighborhood in Southeast. But like now, like from like 2015 on up, with like just being in the streets a little heavy and, and rapping, like that shit dead. All that public transportation, yeah. too much Uber, too much, none of that shit. So it's hard just knowing you can't do what the next man could do. Like the next man right next to you could go do everything he can't do, and you just gotta be disciplined. Like man, if I do that, I'm gonna die. Yeah. If I do that shit, I go to jail. Yeah. It's hard, but. Would you you like the life that you have now? Mm -hmm. Not even being famous or being a rival, but everything other than that, you like the life you got now? Yeah, hell yeah. You wouldn't change yeah. it. Boy, this what I signed up for. Yeah. Oh, everything that come with it, it come with it. So if I say I want to do this shit, yeah, nah, I want to change this shit for nothing. You ever had a mentor before? Yeah, I got a lot of mentors. And, and what's like probably the best advice you got from two of your mentors? Chill the fuck out. When you young. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't be worried about all this shit. Like, I do like they really tell me like the shit you do it's 35 years doing this shit feeling good about this shit though you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. like so 
just relax a little bit. You know? Take some of that pressure up off. Because you can move too fast and crash or anything can happen out here. If yeah. you just dumb down, won't make it all move. And what do you do? Like, what's your process to make sure that your next move is your best move? I sit for hours and just be thinking. Yeah. Like, I might be with the guys or we might be having a little get together or whatever, but shit, like, me, I'm chilling. I'm in a closed space, I'm relaxing, I ain't got to think about it, nothing. I'm always thinking about what I'm about to do. How I'm going to make this next check, how I'm going to make this next flip, anything. Yeah. That's how I do it. Just sit back and relax. Don't go to all functions and shit because you can't think at no function. You got to be on point. You try and have fun, so how the fuck you going to start it? You think at a function. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever apologized first? As far as what? Just anything. Like you ever sat back and while you was reflecting on the situation, you thought. Damn, all right, maybe I should go ahead and be the bigger person or go ahead and apologize first, whatever you Hell want to Hell yeah, because in my position, you got to, because, like, I'm going I'm to say it, but, like, I don't mean it like that. Like, I'm a big dog, so, like, I can't be cocky or I can't let a nigga just feel a certain type of way without saying something, because a motherfucker already look at you like you looking down on me, so yeah. it'd be a lot of times where I got to be like, man, look, I was wrong. Yeah. Just let me trip. Yeah. Just so it won't be no tension or no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And where did you learn that? Because, you know, a lot of niggas, they'd be like, man, fuck that nigga. Fuck I what learned you that shit about. from movies. Yeah. Movies, gangster movies, and being in the streets. Yeah. Don't be, don't, don't, don't be having all that pride. Yeah. Don't yeah. gonna die with that shit. What's your, what's your favorite gangster movie? Shadows. Shadows. Paid in full. Okay. Okay. They got them some cool joints. Um, I was also going to say, though, like, let's talk about some of the music, man, right? Yeah. You said this new tape that just came out, Don't Call You Sonny. Yeah. From the, the, the first joint where we start calling you Sonny, what's changed? A including lot. the projects. A lot, a lot, a lot. I done been through a lot of shit. I done did a lot of shit. And I was going under the title Sunday, so like I'm on some new leaf, new riff shit. Don't yeah. call me that shit. Some yeah. new leaf. Okay. I'm on some big boy shit now, just after all this shit I done went through basically. Yeah. The past two or three years. Your shit uh, been traumatized? I want to say traumatized, dramatized. Dig that. Dig that. And these are situations that you couldn't control? Or just shit that you just found your way into? Both. Okay. Yeah. Oh. What was it like as far as like Scarfo, you know what I'm saying? Making these new connections as you progressing as a rapper. Shit, that shit helped me like that shit helped me like life shit. Yeah. Life shit, you know. Fuck the music. Like if I need Scarfo tomorrow, I could be like, hey bro, I need such and such and such. And such. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I like it's it'd be different type of connections after the music. It's just if we get that bond or if we get that vibe. Like yeah. everybody don't get that vibe. I done met niggas from everywhere, LA, Atlanta, New York. If we don't get that vibe, it ain't gonna be that. Yeah. Can't force but if it. you catch that vibe and you know you with a real nigga, then it's gonna be that. And I done met a lot of real niggas fucking Scarfo. Yeah. Hey, Scarfo definitely a cool dude, but it, it connections like that, you know what I'm saying? What's next? You got another another connection that you gonna make with somebody else from out of town who's boom. Anybody you got in mind? Yeah, I got a lot of people in mind. I don't be saying niggas names and shit though. Yeah. Just be letting it happen. Yeah. I don't want jinx and shit. I believe that. I got some shit. Yeah. How much you believe in, in, in uh like fate or destiny? Oh yeah, I'm believing that shit a hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent. I would definitely be right here today. And then in two years, I'm going to be destined to be there. And then in two years after that, I'm going to be destined to be there. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Man, what's your favorite part about the music so far? Other than the money? Just the music, bro. Yeah. 
Like what? What what what's the what's the day in your life that defines probably I don't understand? I wake up early, go get some money, I gotta I take care of my household, I take care of my friends to a certain extent, not like giving them shit off. I just make sure they right, like you yeah. need some. Boom, boom, we gonna make this, we gonna make this, we gonna go here, we gonna go there, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Uh I make sure I'm right, I make sure my family's straight. Then I gotta go to the studio, link with producers, go through all that business shit before I drop mixtapes and all that shit. Yeah. Do videos. <coughs> you still try to be in the house with my girl, don't curse me out right now. Yeah. Is it, is it, uh, what was I going to say? Are you getting to the point where you, you having to get shit clear? Uh, as far as like, it like. depends on what odd is. Like, if I got to get an odd, a certain odd is on my song. Like, if I was to do something, well, like, if I was to drop that Boosie song, I, got, I had to get that clear. Yeah. But, other than that, fuck. Yeah. That shit going straight to I want to drop it. Yeah. Man, while we still on the music, what did you, uh, what was your inspiration at the time of making Don't Call Me Son? Just me overcoming a lot of shit. I don't know if you know, but I went in jail for a little bit of time. Yeah. And just coming out of that situation and then coming home and absolutely nothing. I'm talking about like, Came home with like three thousand dollars. That's not shit. Yeah. I spent that shit on the mall, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, just it's a culture. It's a it's a culture change because you go in before like before you go in, you got all this money. You know what I'm saying, you go through an unfortunate situation. Yeah. But oh, now you in jail, so it's a complete culture change. You yeah. you can't eat when you want. Yeah. A nigga telling you when to wake up. When to go outside and play basketball, when to use the phone. So now I'm like, dang, I gotta get used to this shit. Fuck, man. Yeah. So I'm praying, 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 just hoping, trying to get out of this situation. Yeah. And by the grace of a lot of niggas came out that situation on top, but came home to different circumstances. You hear me? Yeah. Nigga came home, ain't had his own spot. Nigga had to live with his mother and shit, had to get back on my feet. So yeah. it was like, it was a lot to do, and I think that's why it took me a long time to really get in my bag with the music shit, because I had to catch up yeah. on all this other shit I missed out on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to give me a place to stay. I had to make sure my girl was straight. I had to make sure I was straight. My mother, everybody, it was just a lot of shit I had to do and felt like I was I missed out on. So yeah. with the don't call me Sonny, it's like, man, don't call me that shit. That's yeah, what's past that. We, we way past that. I'm not even on that no more. Yeah. Grown ass man, man. Yeah. So that's where that come from. Respect, respect. What what song would you say probably display that the most for people who listen to and after they see this part, they like, man, let me let me go see what he talking about. What song would display that the most? Intro, cause it's called "Don't Call Me Sunny." Yeah. It's so already feel where I'm coming from on that jump. You got to listen to. Wonder why we yeah. all love. Yeah. You feel where I'm coming from on that time. Okay. Okay. And, and when you think about your time in jail, right, and then you come out and you see how the police is treating us, how that make you feel? Or 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 what? How that make you feel? That shit be fucking me up. I die I die for my man. Yeah. Just all the simple fact. Not even knowing that I die for him, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how crazy it'd be. Like, yeah. we'd be out in the field just on, you got my man all that the super ill. I don't know you about to kill me, but I'm about to wreck you. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you would do what you do, but, yeah, that's how, that's how, that's how I feel. That's how, if anybody around me don't feel like that, I don't want to be around there yet, but. Yeah. Hell yeah, I ain't letting no shit like that happen, especially for no reason. Yeah. I right, got one for one for murder. I like, ain't gonna step on his neck, but I ain't taking. Yeah. Right, we can't do nothing about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But 
When we walking down the street and we chilling, yeah. y'all just want to check IDs for no fucking reason and just start doing things. But we gonna fight. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't appreciate that shit at all.